Are you tired of people not giving a shit? about your Instagram story posts. Well, today we're gonna learn how to fix your stories with five easy steps, it's super simple. Keep on watching if you wanna learn how. <laughs> hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. We all know with the new Instagram algorithm, it kinda sucks that we have to actually try in stories because there's actually an algorithm. So what that means is if your Instagram stories suck, or it might not be able to appear on your followers' timeline, which sucks. So. We're gonna help turn your stories into absolute pieces of art, bangers, they're, they're gonna be pretty great. We're gonna dive right in, I'm not gonna even install. So I recommend you guys to stay to the end if you wanna see a little cheat sheet slash tutorial video, it's, it's about to get good. So what makes an Instagram story good? I think it's only a few combinations of things. I, you're, you're gonna laugh when I say this, but there has to be a story to a story, meaning there has to be some cohesive transitions. It has to make sense rather than posting new pic or like my recent posts. It's really cool how now on stories, people are getting creative. They're literally story vlogging. I have friends who are story vloggers. Another thing is text. like. Having a nice readable text really helps people that can't have the sound on still able to consume the content. And the two last things are crucial, music and a filter. I love it when people get cool little gradients or a color grade and they have borders. It looks visually appealing. So I think I like use text, text, music, BMFS, Smurf. We're gonna Smurf it up, okay? By the way guys, my name is Jade Darmawangza and I'm here to help you grow on social media. I actually take a lot of my DMs and convert it into YouTube videos right here. I answer every single question on direct messages on Instagram. It's kind of like my life. So if you're enjoying this video so far, uh, please give this video a like and subscribe. Only if you want to. Um, it really means the world to me and I truly appreciate it. And the Dharma Nation, which is you guys, get the really good inside scoop, everything social media, so. All right, so no hashtag BS. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get started. So when I say Smurf, it stands for Story, Music, User, Experience, Readable, and Filter. I use Smurf whenever you're creating a piece of content. Regardless, this should help you make your Instagram stories bomb. So Story, the first S stands for making sure there's a flow. My biggest thing, guys, if you guys notice, sometimes or most likely, whenever you see the viewers on your stories, it's going down. Not because you suck, but maybe people aren't interested, or maybe because you suck so to make sure it has as many people carrying through you have to have a storyline it has to make sense each clip which I will show you a little hack that I use has to flow from one to the next so yeah my number one tip regardless if you don't take anything away from this is make sure there's a problem to solve yeah so next is music it's really a additional touch that makes it really pretty put together I recommend adding that whenever you're doing especially text related things you so user interface is super important make sure people are able to feel like it's aesthetically pleasing make sure you maybe you add borders or you know add something where people know where to swipe up it which just follows up to my readable so make sure there's readable text if the layout is too cluttery where you can't even read the words it might damage the story and people might swipe away. We are trying to prevent people from swiping away. That's all. Last thing is F for filter. I use Visco. Like literally add a filter, add some grain, add a little bit of overlays and you got yourself a banger. So we're gonna put it all together. I literally made an Instagram story about how to make an Instagram story tutorial. So we're gonna check it out. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. Cool, so I'm gonna quickly go over the apps I used. It's so simple, guys. I basically used iMovie or InShot Clip Editor. So I just did the main chopping up, so that was for the storyline. For music, again, iMovie does a sit, like literally, I hate how people are sometimes being pretentious and like you have to film your story on like a freaking camera. I just filmed it on my freaking phone. Oh, a little hack, if you wanna add music and you don't even wanna use an editor, you can literally use the screen recorder option, hit that red button, play some Spotify music in the back, on an image that you want to animate, boom, simple. You don't even have to use video. Pictures have a lot of power when you can add music behind it. So for user experience, I used canva.com. This is like a this is like an important hack, okay? Like if you don't know anything in graphic design, if you don't know what's visually appealing, go to canva.com. Literally, they give you layouts of how to freaking make a social media post good looking. It's free. It's on the app start. Oh yeah, and I, for text, I use iMovie again. Um, or you can even use a standard Instagram fonts. I'm trying to make this as simple for you. Uh, one thing I do recommend is filtering is really easy on Visco. It's a, it's a free app, what do you know? All on the Dharma Nation, we're super cut to the chase, like no BS, like just use what you have. You don't have to be fancy. I, it takes me 30 minutes tops to make everything and it's quite fun. Um, no stress, 
if you don't want to do all of this, I'm telling you, you can do this. You can do every single thing I'm saying inside the Instagram app. Just do what works for you. All right, guys, I just posted this Instagram tutorial on my Instagram story. If you guys want to watch it, right here and you can screenshot the very end and post it on your stories if you thought this video is helpful i will be picking a winner this is just a side thing but since i love you guys so so much if you're an instagrammer and you're just struggling to get to the next step maybe you don't even know what to do with instagram stories because in general your instagram itself needs help while well, i'm offering a really cool giveaway it's absolutely free on your end i do one-on-one -on -one coaching for a living um on this channel how to grow on instagram and social and i'm giving away a free 30 minute session. Yes, generous, I'm feeling generous today. Just it's super simple. On my story, I posted a tutorial on this story of how to create an Instagram story. The rules are simple. You go on my story, screenshot that, post it on yours and just tag me and I'll be picking a winner and I'll announce it on Instagram, of course. Uh, yeah, and I'll call you up for a 30 minute coaching session. Listen guys, I've been through multiple students and all of them literally have got engagement like the next day. Students have been going so well, like so diligently with true fans. That freaking fake Instagram bot lifestyle. It's actually true fans. It's ridiculous that I'm giving it away, honestly. Just do it. It's free. It's honestly, you got nothing to lose. Hashtag Smurf it up. Smurf it up. Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, how often do you post on Instagram stories? Five times a day, once a week, seven times a month, or 21 times a day. I hope you follow Smurf to make your stories bangers. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.